In my time as a vocal atheist, I've been locked into a lot of long-lived, intense debates about matters of faith, but perhaps none has been as enduring and as vitriolic as the 15-year fight I've been in with the blue squiggly line that wants me to capitalize the G in God. And look, I'll admit, most of the time, the blue squiggle is correct. Given the conventions of the English language and most of the contested incidents, I should be capitalizing God. When I'm referring to the fictional character named God, right, I, I should be using an uppercase G, even though it's a really stupid name. If I was writing about a superhero named Superhero, I would capitalize the S as well. That being said, I've always been hesitant to do so, even when I'm technically supposed to, because, of course, the word God is used interchangeably, whether we're talking about the genocidal character from the Bible or the vague concept of a first mover. And if you capitalize the G every time you're supposed to, you're very often lending credence to the Christian worldview. You're personifying the concept of the universe's creator. What's more, you're subtly reinforcing the idea that the Judeo-Christian God, which is the only one named God, is the default deity. And that all makes sense, right? The, the grammatical rules that we follow, after all, were crafted in a time of unquestioned Christian supremacy and were designed in many ways to reinforce that supremacy. Right? If we, if we follow all the prescribed conventions, we'll be capitalizing their God's fucking pronouns. A hilarious demand from the people that pretend the singular they is the thing that makes English pronouns confusing. So there's definitely some justification in breaking the commandments in the Chicago Manual of Style here. And for years, that's been all the justification I needed to reduce God to the dangly G. God is, after all, a concept as well as a fictional character. And if anybody takes issue with the fictional character's lack of capitalization, I reckon they could just borrow a couple capital letters from all the superfluously capitalized pronouns they had lying around. But over the years, that justification has seemed less and less convincing to me. And I find myself more and more often just giving in to the whims of the blue squiggle or letting autocorrect have its way. I mean, the lowercase still seems justified to me, but I'm increasingly aware of how petty it must seem for people who stand far outside of the atheist echo chamber and are not familiar with my reasons. But just as I was about to hand over my sword to the blue squiggle, I had a revelation. I realized that grammar check was never my enemy in this thing. It turns out we were on the same side the whole time. The solution, you see, wasn't to cave in and conform to social conventions. It was to step further outside those conventions until I found myself back in the blue squiggle's good graces. Because pretty much any time there's a need to capitalize God... There's an alternative phrasing that robs the Christian God of some of his unearned cultural cachet. I'll give you an example. One of the methods is the one that I just employed. I, I was talking about Christian God, so I said as much. Instead of playing along with the cultural assumption that God means the God that Christians believe in, I specified. I didn't say it robs God of cultural cachet. I said it robs Christian God, which is grammatically correct even when the G droops below the line. Another solution, just use his fucking name when you're talking about him specifically. That God's name is Yahweh. There are three reasons we don't generally use that name, though. Each one's stupider than the last. The first is that an awful lot of Christians don't actually know their God's name, right? They, they either don't know that Jehovah is a bastardization or they don't realize he has a name at all. The second is because we're catching the English language after that aforementioned long effort to linguistically erase every concept of other gods. And the third reason, the dumbest of them all, is that that name is sacred. And when you say it out loud, it makes really devout Jews and Christians super sad. And when you consider all of those reasons together, those are three pretty solid reasons to use the name. When we call Christian God by his name, we're educating ignorant Christians who might be more inclined to see their God as just another in the long list of deities pre-scientific people conjured up if they hear Yahweh, right? We're, we're, we're pushing back against the linguistic illusion that there is one singular concept of God that is common to all theists, and we're pissing off the types of religious zealots who need pissed off most. But of course, there are other times when the correct solution to the capitalization of God problem is to realize that you're not actually talking about the Christian God. Sometimes the right way to satiate the blue squiggle is to add an indefinite article. Instead of, they thought God did it, maybe what you mean to say is, they thought a God did it. Or maybe you want to retreat even further and say, they thought a supernatural agent did it. I'd imagine making this change will be a taller order for me than most since I spent a lot more time writing about God than 
most people who aren't enthusiastic about capitalizing it, but I'm going to give it a go. And it's something that you're probably going to hear in the show if you listen to it. There will be no doubt times when brevity demands the shortest phrase, and there will be no doubt other times when I just forget. But Yahweh has way more unearned legitimacy than he deserves, and he sure as hell doesn't need any more from me.